This is me playing Fortnite, but I'm not playing alone. I'm getting schooled by a hacker. He's only 17 and he's making thousands out of the game. If I made 16 play that, that, that would be a valid amount. And he's not the only one. There are hundreds out there, and most of them are teenagers. And I think, you know, in a day session, I've got every thousand in it. This is the world of Fortnite crackers. Fortnite is huge. It's the world's most popular video game with 200 million players worldwide. But it's also probably the most popular video game with hackers. And many of them are exploiting it like it's a full-time job, making thousands of pounds a week. The game's free to play, but people spend real money upgrading the way their characters look. They call them skins. And they also buy accessories like paragliders and pickaxes. And that's what makes these accounts both valuable and a target for hackers. They're stealing them in huge numbers and selling them online to an ever-growing and hungry marketplace. And all over social media, victims are venting their frustration. I asked a few of them to tell me exactly how it feels to be hacked. It was really frustrating, really annoying. It, it's pretty it's pretty heartbreaking. He did take all of my skins and everything that I had. Honestly, the biggest thing is the fact that they deleted some of my friends list and I'll never be able to I'll never be able to have some of those friends back. He could actually contact me afterwards. Like he texted me and he I guess tried to have me buy my account back. And, uh, shame on you, man. Shame on you. So who are these hackers and how are they doing it? Well it turns out they're pretty easy to find. All over social media, you can find these adverts for accounts. There's an entire network of buyers, sellers and middlemen. They're all operating completely in the open. Some of these hackers, or crackers as they call themselves, are as young as 14. I spoke to one here in the UK who says he started as a victim himself. Basically, what I did, I wanted to get a new account, so I turned to Twitter. I was approached by someone who said they could sell me an account for 25 I guess I started seeing these accounts more frequently from multiple people. Uh, it's just become a society almost to Twitter. He sent me links to some of the tutorials that he used to learn how to become a cracker. Well, I was approached by a cracking team, and they told me like, completely what cracking was. And it's how to crack. So I did, I did crack once. And I think, you know, in a day session, I got over a thousand new pounds. He says he's mainly a middleman now, selling on cracked accounts. He knows he's breaking the law and says he wants to stop soon. And here's how he did it. Crackers by huge lists of usernames and passwords have been published online by other hackers who've carried out data breaches in the past. They then use a tool to input them into the Fortnite login page thousands at a time. When they get a successful hit, they take over the account to make it difficult or even impossible for the owner to get it back. They then sell the accounts for as little as 25p or hundreds of pounds, depending on how in demand the accessories are. Hi mate, can you hear me? Hello? Here's one of the game's most prolific hackers. He's from Slovenia and he agreed to speak to me, but only if I met him inside the game. He's just popped up. He's got every single character item you could imagine. Of course he has. Here he is. He's the one with blue glowing eyes and wings. That is a limited edition skin. He let me see bank statements that show some of the accounts he sells can be worth hundreds of pounds, despite the accessories not giving players any advantage in the game. I kind of understand why people would like these accounts because, I mean, it's always nice to have something that your friends don't have. Overall, I made 16k. That, that, that would be a valid amount. At Christmas break, I expect per week to 2,000 uh, at the minimum. I bought a PC. I'm not sitting for a car. I already have 8k. As we're chatting away, it becomes very clear that I'm talking to one of the most hardcore crackers out there. This is a guy that goes the extra mile. He breaks into major databases to steal even more usernames and passwords. So you're absolutely convinced that you're doing this along with hundreds of other people and you're never going to get caught. But how can you be so sure? Because what you're doing is a crime, right? Like, no forces genuinely check this. I've talked to over 1,000 crackers, none, nobody was ever caught. But the thing is, the authorities say they are watching and they're worried that cracking is leading young people into more serious cybercrime. 
Ethan's the youngest ever recruit of the National Crime Agency. He's a gamer himself. These individuals that think that they are anonymous may soon realise that they have one of these officers knocking on their door. We've done this for hundreds of individuals. These, these people use proxies, they use VPNs. That doesn't make it bulletproof. So this is a genuine crime what they're doing, isn't it? It's quite serious. Just the compromise of a Fortnite account could come under Section 1 of the Computer Misuse Act, which is up to two years in prison. The National Crime Agency are asking game makers to do more to stop this type of hacking taking place on their platforms. One thing they're reluctant to do, though, is to encourage any technical changes to the games. But we've spoken to hackers who've told us that their businesses would end overnight if the platform enforced two-factor authentication. This is where you attach your mobile phone to your account to prove who you are. Uh, if you do that, you, I basically can't get your account. No way I can get it because uh, it's fully secure. Epic, the company behind Fortnite, hasn't commented on our investigation, but the game maker says it's working to improve security. It also encourages and rewards players who take steps to increase their account protection. In the meantime, the game's popularity grows daily, and these teenage opportunists are even expanding their teams to match. Well, as long as I can do it, I'm going to keep doing it. I would be making more than the average wage in my country, and it's, uh, my mom is also an accountant, so that helps a lot. Fortnite's now on its seventh season, the new one, just launched the other day, which means there's loads more players signing up and there's plenty more opportunity for these hackers to make a killing.